It's inevitable that when painting, mess ups will happen. Your brush drips water on an almost dry sky, or you smudge an area with your hand. Since watercolors are transparent, it can be a little tricky to go back and fix mistakes, but it's not impossible. So here are my five ways to fix a mess up. The first thing you can do, and usually the best thing to do, is to let it dry. It's usually easier to fix marks and drops once the painting has dried. It can be so tempting to jump in and add a little more water or paint to an area. However, this usually leads to a larger mess. Trust me, I have done that so many times and it usually makes it so much worse. If you stop, put your brush down and let your painting dry, you may realize the mark isn't as noticeable as you thought. Or you can use one of the following techniques to lift the paint off the dry painting. If your painting is still wet, you can use your brush to lift the mark or paint off the paper. You should only do this if the paint on the paper is still wet. You don't want to introduce more water to an area that's almost dry. It will end up leaving a mark called a cauliflower and can make the problem spot much larger. To do this, make sure your brush isn't dripping wet, wipe off any excess water, and gently dab at the area you want to lift paint from. If you're not happy with how a painting's going and it's still relatively wet, you can use your spray bottle to rinse away a large area. Lift your painting up so it's at a tilt and spray the paper liberally with a spray bottle so the color runs down. Wait until the painting has dried. If you've let your painting dry, there are two ways you can lift paint off the paper. The first is using your brush. Get your brush damp, not soaking wet, and massage the area you want to lift the paint. Clean your brush and this time go back over the area with a drier brush so you're not introducing more water. This technique doesn't work on all paper or with all paint colors. Some papers are more absorbent than others and some paint colors are more staining than others. It's hard lifting colors off of arches, for example, but lifting paint off of Bockingford paper is usually done with ease. The second way to lift paint off paper after it's dried is using a magic eraser. I've cut a magic eraser into little squares, get your magic eraser wet, and then use it to gently rub the area you want to lift the paint. Be very gentle with this technique, as it could damage the surface of the paper. Have fun painting, and don't get too caught up in the mess ups. Oftentimes, things we see as mistakes while painting end up being happy accidents, adding interest to a painting once it's dry. If we try to fix each and everything, we can lose the magical, unpredictable nature of watercolors. 